Oil prices drop ahead of an anticipated U.S. oil release announcement. And Saudi pledges $15 billion to support Egypt. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Thurman. Oil prices are dropping today as the U.S. is considering releasing up to 180 million barrels from its strategic petroleum reserve over several months to calm soaring prices. President Biden is expected to announce the plan later today. Analysts say the significant release would help to a certain extent to fill the shortfall but not compensate completely. Saudi has pledged $15 billion to support Egypt, depositing $5 billion in Egypt's central bank. The transfer helps alleviate short-term funding pressures. Saudi's public investment fund is also looking into $10 billion of potential investments in Egypt's healthcare, education, agriculture and financial sectors. Meanwhile, Qatar this week pledged to invest $5 billion in Egypt, while Abu Dhabi Wealth Fund ADQ made a roughly $2 billion deal this month to buy stakes in publicly listed companies. The Global Entrepreneur Congress in Riyadh secured $13.8 billion of investment to promote entrepreneurial activity. The four-day event saw thousands of entrepreneurs, investors, ecosystem leaders and policymakers visit Saudi to sign deals, make connections and share expertise. Major players unveiled plans to expand into the kingdom and figures like Apple's Steve Wozniak and Netflix's Mark Randolph participated. The investment went towards various programs and projects including financial products for entrepreneurs, mentorship schemes, direct investments and loan guarantees. G7 policymakers must speed up the creation of a common framework to regulate digital currencies as the Ukraine war heightens the need to avoid them being used as a loophole against sanctions. That's according to the Bank of Japan. The bank says by using stable coins or cryptos that are pegged to an external reference, it's not very difficult to create an individual global settlement system. Cryptos and stable coins have come under the regulatory spotlight amid concerns Russia could use them to evade sanctions. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes Real-Time Billionaires ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people. Our biggest loser today is Jeff Bezos, down $3 billion with a net wealth of $192.1 billion. Our second biggest loser is Bernard Arnault and family, who's also down just shy of $3 billion with a net wealth of $177.5 billion. And our third place loser is Russian fertilizer module Vyacheslav Kantor, down $1.9 billion with net wealth of $11.3 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. Meta reportedly gave user information to hackers who pretended to be law enforcement officials last year. Imposters were able to get details like physical addresses or phone numbers in response to fake emergency data requests. The hackers claimed they couldn't wait for a judge's order for information because it was an urgent matter of life and death. Apple has reportedly shared similar info with hackers. Bruce Willis, famed for his role in Die Hard and many other Hollywood blockbusters, has been diagnosed with aphasia and is stepping away from his acting career. Willis's family posted on Twitter explaining that the diagnosis is impacting his cognitive abilities and because of this, he's stepping away from the career that has meant so much to him. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.